Hi everybody, and welcome to Survival Dads. So in this video, we'll be taking a look at this. It's the Anglo Arms Intrepid Bushcraft Knife. So this is for sale at Springfields for only uh, £6.99. That's pretty cheap. Um, I'd like to see what you get for £6.99. So I brought one, and uh, I'm going to show you what it's like. And it is raining, so I apologise if this video is a little bit short. Um, but I didn't bring a tarp. Survival Dad's always prepared, um, but not for rain in England in Easter time. Never mind, we'll continue. So, basically, what you get with this for £6.99 is a budget nylon sheath. So you have a belt loop there, so you have to stick that on your belt. Comes with a fire steel and whistle. Pretty good whistle, that. Um, so yeah, small fire steel whistle and the actual blade itself. Here it is, quite nice. You have a green paracord handle there. A little bit of knobbliness at the top so you can get your uh, thumb on there. Nice point at the end and a nice sharp uh, blade there. So just get the stats for this. So the blade is 92 millimeters long. It is made out of stainless steel and it's black coated to perfect it, perfect, uh, protect it against corrosion. And it's only 155 grams. So if you're interested in being lightweight, this is uh, quite a good option for you. So yeah, as you can see, it has the Anglo Arms Intrepid logo on there. And it's quite a cool little shape. So the rain is coming down a bit heavier now, so I'm going to grab a stick and uh, see how sharp it is. So this is as sharp as it comes out of the box. Find a stick. I have located a stick. A bit of moss. So let's see uh, what it can do. Yeah, it's pretty good. Um, sharp straight out of the box. Get some uh, very amateur feather stick action on the go. I'm rubbish at feather sticking. It's something I'm going to work on. Um, but you can see that it can make some nice tinder in no time at all. And uh, yeah, as it's only £6.99, you can really treat this like a beater. Um, if you're like me, I have some um, expensive knives, I have some budget knives, I have some in-between knives. Um, but the expensive ones, I don't like to kind of misuse. Uh, misuse is the wrong term. I don't like to beat up uh, expensive knives. I use my cheaper knives for the... Uh, more mundane uh, camp jobs. Um, yeah, so we'll kind of do a bit of testing of it, we'll kind of beat it up a little bit, and we'll see um, if £6.99 is, uh, well, let's see if you can get a good knife for £6.99. And I think you probably can. Um, if you've seen my video on the Anglo Arms Paracord knife, which is only £3.99, um, that performed really well. So this one, I'm sure, will be a little bit better. Okay, so before I actually test the knife a bit more, um, I should look at the fire steel I suppose it comes with. Um, this is a budget fire steel. Um, I believe there are different qualities in a fire steel, obviously the amount of sparks it throws, how fat it is, how many strikes you get. Um, it's obviously on the budget end, um, but we'll see how it works. Um, because of the actual uh, blade profile on the ridge of the knife, I don't think it will strike the fire steel. Need a nice sharp right angle, really, um, but I'll give it a go anyway. See if we can get a spark out of it. I have pre-scraped. Let's get the uh, black corrosion resistance off. Nope. Yeah, I didn't think so. Um, so the top of the blade won't. Um, so I'm going to have to use the actual blade. Please don't shout at me. Um, again, this is only a cheap budget knife, so I don't mind using it. The actual blade profile for uh, striking on fire steel. So. Yep. Good amount of sparks coming off here. Just try not to set fire to the camera. So yeah, fire steel works, and I'm sure that'll be enough to uh, start a fire. Okay, so next up, we'll use the trusty stump test. Um, this worked really well in my uh, Anglo Arms uh, paracord knife video. Um, so I'll test it for this, as it's another budget knife. So this is a random stump that I found. I'm going to stab it and see if it picks it up.
Hey, st I've broken the stump. Okay, the stump does not want to be picked up. Yes, it does. See? That works pretty well. Um, I have destroyed the test and stump now. Um, so, RIP uh, test and stump. You served me well for two knife videos, but your time is now over. Never mind. Um, let's see if we can do some chopping with this. I have a horrible half rotten stick here, and I'm going to see if I can chop it. Hope the camera is actually on it. There we go. Who needs an axe? That worked pretty well. Um, let's see if we can actually damage the point. I will stab the testing log and try and snap off the point. Nothing. Nothing. Just try and hammer it in a bit. Are all these logs rotten? Still nothing there. Don't want to stab a live tree um, because that's not how we roll on survival dads. Um, but hopefully the rotten logs can satisfy your need for a test for this video. Die testing log. Yep, still nothing. So next what we'll do is uh, we'll test its throwability. Stuck into the ground. <laughs> it's not really a proper test, but there we go. That worked pretty well, I think. Cool. Okay, closing thoughts. So, there we go. For a nice low budget blade, I don't think you can really go wrong with the Anglo Arms Intrepid. You have a decent amount of paracord on there, it does come sharp out of the box. It's obviously a full tang blade as it's just one piece of metal. No frills, comes with a fire steel which is usable and say for £6.99 I don't think you can go wrong with something like this. So this would be an ideal starter knife for the amateur bushcrafter or for someone just looking for a cheap beater to use around camp. So there we go, this is the Anglo Arms Intrepid, available from Springfields. Thanks for watching, stay safe, and I'll see you soon.